What's up guys? Welcome to Rewatch Reality. What's going on everyone? So on today's video, we're going to be talking about Natalie from 90 Day Fiance, The Single Life. The 37-year-old Ukrainian woman has made her way back for a second season, and let me tell you, not much has changed. We last left off on The Single Life Season 1 where Natalie met Josh, the CEO and founder of a modeling company called Preview Models. Season 1 ended where Josh invites Natalie to fly out to come see him. Although Natalie isn't thrilled about Josh having two baby mamas and constantly working around beautiful women, his lifestyle is enough for her to push those feelings to the side in which she agrees to come. Why don't you come out to LA and uh, let me take you around? Okay. I'm excited. Josh invited me to LA. Season 2 of The Single Life kicks off right where we left off, which was Natalie going out to visit Josh in Los Angeles. Now that Natalie officially touched down in LA, Josh isn't available to meet her until the evening time due to his work schedule, so Natalie decides that she's going to take the Hollywood tour around the city. I personally found Natalie touring around Hollywood quite hilarious because not only do I think nobody had a clue on who she was, she definitely was not dressed for the occasion. I honestly was worried about her when she stepped off the bus to take a selfie. She was in these really tall high heels and it was definitely not the environment for her to wear those kind of shoes. Once she made it up to the top of the mountain where she can overlook the Hollywood sign, she did receive a text message from Josh and that's when Josh told her that he wasn't going to be available until the evening time. You can tell that Natalie wasn't happy about the fact that Josh wasn't available. If Natalie had it her way, she would have him completely clear out his schedule, cancel all his business meetings, and just completely attend to her. And that's exactly why I do not think this relationship is going to work because Natalie is too needy, she's already expressed that she's jealous, and and he's just going to be way too busy for her. Plus to top it off, she's trying to drill him into commitment when she's still married to Mike. She's 37, which means her clock is ticking as far as having children, which means she's naturally going to put pressure on Josh to have kids. And Josh already has kids. He's 40 years old. I highly doubt he wants any more children, especially if he has a woman that's like pressuring him to do so. I don't know. I personally think that she's living in la la land if she thinks this is going to work. Now fast forward to the evening time. Her and Josh finally link up. This is going to be the first time that they've seen each other since Florida. She's super excited, but she's really nervous. She's really intimidated by Josh because she feels like he's so good looking. And then once again, Natalie just can't seem to get it right. She's way overdressed for the occasion to where it ends up being where Josh has to paddle in this cute little swan boat, but Natalie just refuses to help him because she's in high heels. And I'm like, Girl, kick off your damn high heels and help him paddle. So after the two are done with the swan paddle boats, they end up heading back to the hotel where they go out and get some drinks. Well, Natalie ends up getting some liquid courage because she hasn't drank in a long time, so she was super nervous since she was going out with Josh, so she ended up drinking a little bit too much, but she ended up at least having enough liquid courage to start addressing some of the issues that she was concerned about on if he wants to be in a committed relationship or not, and this was Josh's response. If you're not committed, I don't want you. I don't need you. No, I, I think it's too early, you know, on our second date to talk about being, like, exclusive. You see Natalie's face right there? She's in shock. She cannot believe that he's not ready to commit to her on the second date. She is batshit crazy. <laughs> That's exactly what she is. She's delusional for thinking that he's going to commit to her. And mind you, you have to remember Natalie is still married to Mike at this moment. So as you can see by Natalie's facial expression, she did not like Josh's response. So the night ended where she slammed the hotel door room in his face. Now when the producers asked her why she slammed the door in Josh's face, it was basically the fact that she didn't like that he didn't want to commit to her and he's definitely not going to come and sleep with her if he doesn't want to commit. I mean, that's fair, but I don't think it called for her slamming the door in his face. And second of all, if that's the case, keep that same energy because by the very next day, Josh took her on a date to the beach and where it went from her slamming the door in his face the night before to Natalie making the first move on Josh and leaning in and kissing him. I decided that I miss a kiss, so I decided I need to try a kiss. Kiss was good, like in the good old-fashioned Hollywood movies. 
And then next thing you know, Natalie decides that she's going to sleep with him. I can't keep up with Natalie. I'm so confused. I don't get how she goes from slamming the door in his face because she's mad that he won't commit to her to sleeping with him. And then she's confused on why he doesn't stay the night with her. Of course he doesn't stay the night with her. He wasn't looking for that kind of relationship. But after sex, he wrote, I was in that moment in his arms and I forgot how is my name. But he's like, I need to go. Practically, like, we had sex and he stand up and left. Well, thank God Josh didn't end up being a complete asshole and just completely hitting it and quitting it on national television. But he did end up being a gentleman and picking her up later on that evening. And he's going to invite her out with his friends, which is a big deal because he usually doesn't bring other women around his friends. He wants to give his friends the opportunity to meet Natalie and Natalie an opportunity to meet his friends. Except for Natalie is just being weird. She does not know how to act with the fact that they slept together the night before and she's being super awkward and aggressive about the whole thing. Even though Josh compliments me on my look, I am frustrated with Josh because, you know, I don't know what to think and it's my last day. I think Natalie dropped the ball with sleeping with him because she doesn't know how to regulate her emotions. So now that she's had sex with him, it's made things like times 10. And I just don't think this is going to end well for her. The time that they went out with his friends, at first it was super awkward. But finally the women were with her. They kind of went off to the side. And they seemed like they were kind of chipping away at her and like giving her reassurance with the fact that Josh has never invited another woman out with them. I will say I was happy to see Natalie loosen up a little bit with his friends because I'm telling you when it was awkward I mean you can cut it with a knife there was definitely tension in the room it just felt like Natalie was doing everything in her power to make the situation weird but after she dropped her guard she was explaining to the women that in Ukraine men don't operate how American men do Ukrainian men are very direct when they like a woman so that's why Natalie's having a difficult time understanding what the status of their relationship is you have to remember she's only been in America for two years now but as we see in the previews of the following episode coming up this coming week it doesn't look like it's going to end well for Natalie and Josh she's going to have a complete meltdown she doesn't like the fact that it looks like through the previews he's going to try to sleep with her again why wouldn't he he already slept with her once she's a beautiful woman of course he's trying to get his but she completely freaks out so I just don't think that this situation is going to end well for Natalie but then again we'll have to see how it actually plays out because one thing we know about Natalie is that she'll go from freaking out and being hysterical to the next moment being fine. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today on this video. Thank you so much for watching Rewatch Reality. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below and let me know what you think about Natalie and her whole situation with Josh. All right, guys, until next time, peace out.